Thank you. Just wanted to talk to you a little bit about his demeanor, your demeanor. You know, it's been a little bit of a roller coaster. First time y'all was out, it was cool. Then it got a little staticky. Now he's back to calm. What, what do you think about all that? Nah, I mean, I, I feel like you know we just locked in. You know, so like, he knows what's coming. You know, like he know I'm not, I'm not, the nigga, you know, not a guy that's gonna come and lay down. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, I'm coming for victory, man. You know, so right now I'm, I'm at peace with myself. You know, right now I'm relaxed. I'm happy, man. You know, look at this, bro. I, I'm I made it to the top. You know what I'm saying? Now it's about conquering the giant. You know, being a giant, man. Um, you know, I'm relaxed, bro. There's no need to be rowdy. You know what I'm saying? All that was. Months ago, you know, now, you know, we about three days away from the fight, you know, so I'm just locked in mentally, man, you know, it's a big task ahead of me, I gotta go in there and I gotta perform. No doubt, and then at the end of it, you know, we heard you talk a little bit about how you felt about Oscar and some of his comments, can you just elaborate on that a little bit? Yeah, fuck Oscar, man, he's a, he's a yeah. Mexican don't like him. Yeah. Edgar, semana, That's why he can be in Mexico. Edgar, semana de pelea, semana de pelea, ¿cómo se siente la, esa motivación de los boricuas que están llegando ya aquí al NDM y yeah. al área? Uh, also, ¿Cómo se siente? Also, he's not a real Mexican. Pop Oscar de la Hoya. Why is he the real Mexican? ¿Cómo se siente esa motivación extra de todos esos boricuas que están llegando aquí? Wow. Sí, 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 estamos, estamos, estamos mucho feliz. They don't want him in Mexico. They don't want him in Mexico. Siempre, vamos arriba esta semana. ¿Qué le tienes que decir a Oscar de la Olla en español? Para que los públicos entiendan. Eh, Oscar, que se mame. Oíste. Coge y coge por... Ya tú sabes. Es que para la verga, es que para la verga, cabrón. Tú no puedes con nosotros. Este es nosotros, este semana de nosotros, oíste, de Puerto Rico, puñeta, para que lo sepa, cabrón. Son agachi. Parece que en muchas cosas no están de acuerdo Canelo y tú, pero quizás no creer a Oscar de la Hoya sí están de acuerdo. Hoy lo dejaste claro. Sí, sí, es un buen video. Ese cabrón no eres mexicano. Y él no puede vivir en México también. Porque los mexicanos no lo vamos a... Ha criticado duramente de la Hoya esta pelea. Hablaste de ser la nueva cara del boxeo de Puerto Rico. Vaya que le hace falta una, una cara, ¿no? A, a un boxeo de, de mucha historia. Sí, 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 Puerto Rico necesita una cara ahora. Y es todo mi momento para hacer eso, ¿me entiendes? Para, para poner la bandera arriba, ¿no? y a ganar un leyenda de ese de semana, de este sábado. Por último, Edgar, ¿te sientes subestimado? Todo eso que la gente te dice que no puedes ganar te ha alimentado el, el alma, el corazón. Todo eso te da energía para, para poder darle la sorpresa el sábado. Sí, sí, eso es mucha, mucha motivación para la gente que está mirando la gente de las malas, hablando mal de mí, eso es motivación para mí, para el final de esta semana. Perfecto, excelente hermano, lo mejor para ti. Gracias, Edgar. compañeros. Edgar, you, Edgar, you've, uh, you know, you've talked about your IQ winning you this fight, but also the six round knockout. Uh, will you, you know, can you promise that you, you won't be timid in this fight now? You will take chances, you know, even early to get... Well, of course I'm going to take chances, man. That's why I'm here, you know what I'm saying? We got we to make history, you know? But I said, like I said before, you know, everybody wants to knock out, you know? I, wa I want to knock him out. Like, you want to knock, I want to knock his ass out too. But, you know, we got to do it smart, you know what I'm saying? And what you said, timid? Say again? You said I'm timid? You said... No, 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 not just... Uh, but I think people, you know, after the Charlo fight, that's just something they don't want to see. And, and, you know, can you reassure me? Oh, no, nah, hell yeah. no, bro. You crazy, bro. My, my nuts is this big, bro. You crazy, bro. Never do that. You know, last time uh, he went up against Brooklyn with Danny Jacobs, he got the win. Why is it, why has he come up short against Brooklyn this time? Bro, if you really, if you really, if you really study that fight, Danny did a, a hell of a job, man. You heard that fight was super, super, super close, bro. And, I, and, he's, and he's lucky that Danny, that Danny Jacobs didn't, uh, didn't have to drop 20 pounds the night before the, uh, the, night before the win. He had to lose 20 pounds. So he's lucky because that was a great fight. How do you not have a guy with a chin like that? I got the cannon right here, man. And he never got hit by the...